Mm -hmm. Is you met you met um, Juice World back in 2018 before like his Broski did his research. <laughs> okay. Before his tragic uh, for his, his death back in 2019, mm -hmm. you know RIP. Like how was how was that like? You know, cause y'all y'all met the, at the airport. Yeah. How was that like meeting him? What was his vibe like? I'll tell you the story. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a plane. I'm showing my dog. I see the back of this guy's head. I know it's Juice World. You know what I'm saying? Wow. From the back of his head. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. Nah, bro, and he got, the, guy. he got like the one dread leaning this way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's that guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I look at the white you beside him, yep. like editing a rap video, you know what I'm saying, on the laptop, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, His for own? sure. I'm like, for sure, you don't even need to turn around, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So boom, I'm scheming on it. As soon as we hop off the plane, I'm like, Psh, I gotta get in, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I, gotta... I hollered at him to talk, fam, real nigga, you know what I'm saying? He was wow. hollering at me, plugged in on the gram, you know what I'm saying, talking about what he's doing. Wow. I talked about features and shit, he said, yo, his deal so tied up. He said he was doing a mixtape with Future at the time. You know what Whoa. I'm saying? Nobody knew it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like three months later, he drops a mixtape with Future. You That's know crazy. What I'm saying? <laughs> Real nigga. Everything he said was true. Mm -hmm. I love that, man. Is there, was there any like, like, is there anything kind of like inspiring that, that you took from the conversation that he, that he said, or was it kind of a strict conversation? It, it, what was more inspiring was the fact that yo, he's just moving him and his girl mm. like solo, and then I guess the video guy. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But he's the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He, he was just he was in control of the whole situation. He wasn't rolling with like an entourage, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I heard that about him. It's like, you know, he's like, he, he blew up so fast, but he still moved. Yeah. Just like, 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 a, like a rugged, a rugged Very guy. humble, very, very humble. humble, you know what I'm saying? That's what I took from it for sure. I love that, man. And you recently, you know, tell us about that, you know, the, the feature. You know, you, you have a feature with Tusi, but a big, big triple, man. Come on. <laughs> you know, from North Carolina, yeah. very own. The like, how did that. Big drip one. Come, come on. <laughs> how did that all come, come together? You guys weren't ready for that. <laughs> for real, yo, it's, 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 it's an amazing song, bro. I was on. um. I was on a wave last year. I really wanted to like level up, like you know, because niggas know I push this independent shit. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And like, you do well. I, I usually try to finesse as much as I can. You know what I'm saying in this rap shit. But I wanted to like spend a little budget last year. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I was like, yo, I, I really want to get like an A-list feature. You know what I'm saying? So, Tuzi wasn't the only one. We. It was between a few artists, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, what, like um, Moneybag, mm -hmm. Red Moneybag, mm -hmm. and who else? Who else? Um, kind of options. R.I.P. Young Dolph. Young Dolph, you know R.I.P. Man. Yeah. And I crazy. almost went that way, you know wow. what I'm saying? I almost <laughs> went that way, but I, I, I wanted to make like a. I didn't want to make a super trap song, you know what I'm I saying? Think. I wanted to make a more flowy song. I felt Tuzi fit the song better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? love that. So how was it? How was it like meeting Tuzi and Pierre? Like how was his vibe like? No, he's a good nigga. Conversation. He's a good nigga. Same way he didn't move Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? He didn't move like a lot of these artists. Like when I meet them on the ones, like they expect like a lot more behind the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So when I meet him and I show him on the ones like, nah, fam, I just put this together. I just hopped on a flight from Toronto. Like, I, I just I just did this. You know what I'm saying? Wow. They're like, for real? Like, no label, no, for real? They, they rate it. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Same thing. When I talked to Tuzi, it was just like, we, he had that catch up moment. He just rated it and we locked in, you know? I love that, man. Love that. Well.